Hey everyone, I'm so excited for today's video. In this video, we will be taking a look at 10 practical ways that will 100% help you to overcome porn. So, before we get into that, I just want to say that if you love learning more about God and want to further grow in your relationship with God, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. So, without waiting any longer, let's get right into this video. And I just want to start off by saying that these are 10 practical ways through which you can overcome your porn addiction. And the key word there is practical. So I can give you all the theory behind how you can overcome porn, tell you all these things that you need to do, but if you don't actually apply them to your life, then there's nothing I can do. You actually need to go through these and apply them. I unfortunately can't do that for you. So let's start off with the first thing, and that is increase the time that you spend reading your Bible. Because the Bible says that in order for us to stay Pure, we need to be heavenly minded. And there isn't a better way for us to do that than to be connected to Scripture, than to be connected with God through reading the Bible. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to spend more time reading our Bible. And that leads me to the second point, which is to quote a Bible verse throughout the day. And this is kind of a way to force you first thing in the morning to open up your Bible and read your Bible and memorize a verse for the day. So that is something that's very important because that will help you to continuously be heavenly minded throughout the day because you get yourself a Bible verse for the day, you memorize that verse and then you quote that verse as much as possible throughout the day. So what this will do is this will actually help you to, like I said, stay kingdom minded. So whenever you do something small, you will quote that verse. And don't just kind of say it without meaning it. Actually listen to the words that you're saying in your head. So for example, when you're climbing in your car, when you're driving somewhere, when you're cooking, when you're doing any small task, just keep quoting that verse because that verse will help you to stay focused on that verse instead of letting your mind dwell. Because the important thing is to keep your mind busy and most importantly keep it focused on God because if you don't focus on what is pure your mind will start to drift to the impure so that's something that's really important then the next thing that you should do is pray without ceasing in the Bible we see many ways that people pray they will kneel down they will even walk when praying and this is the one that I'm referring to this is kind of like you speaking with God throughout the day because, for example, uh, when we are with a friend, when we're in their company, we won't go hours without even talking to them. And this is what we mean with praying without ceasing. Is God is your best friend. He's always there with you. So why don't you talk with Him more regularly? When you're doing something, even when it's like, like let's say again, when you're getting in the car, just pray a quick prayer and ask God to be with you in the car. You can pray continuously throughout the day you can walk throughout your day when you're cooking pray thanking god for the food when you're doing something small just say thank you god it only takes a couple of seconds or lord give me strength all these small prayers will make a massive impact and these are practical things so these are things that you do regularly and they will actually become a habit for example when you do something just say I quote the Bible verse, for this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So that will kind of put you in a positive mindset. So pray without ceasing and then quote scripture. Increase the time that you spend with God. Then another thing is listening to worship music instead of secular music. There are definitely songs that do not glorify God at all. That promote love, that promote worldly things. And it's important for us, if you want to overcome porn, to stay away from those songs and just listen to worship music. You need to make that massive step. You need to do this if you want to overcome porn. The next thing that you can do is stop watching TV shows or movies that also encourage lust. So this is something that's very important because what you see is kind of what fills your mind. So if you want to overcome porn, you need to stay away from these shows and movies that will even just give you a hint of lust that you know even could just 
give you that small bit of lust in your mind. You know, all you need is a small seed. And from there, a quick thought can even water that seed. So it's important for you to completely stay away from TV shows or movies that could encourage just a little bit of lust. Even if you need to take the drastic step of completely staying away from those TV shows or movies, please do that because it's very important for you to stay pure. And then the next thing that you need to do is go to church or even watch online sermons. So it's important for you to stay connected to believers because that's what the church is all about. It's having fellowship with other people who will strengthen your faith. So go to church. Remember that that time is important. But then also throughout the week, you can watch online sermons. Make sure that you learn more about God through doing that. And that will also become a habit. You will also want to learn more about God. And through doing that, make sure that you actually listen to what people are saying. Don't just put it on in the background. Actually uh, listen to learn. And through that also, you will focus your mind on things that are from above. And then the seventh thing that you should do is tell someone who you can trust. You need to be held accountable. And I know you don't necessarily want to tell someone. And if, if this is the case for you, then you can definitely apply uh, the rest of the nine things. But definitely, if there is someone you can trust, please tell them because they should be your personal accountability, accountability partners. They should actually be there every single day. You can send them something every single day. Today, I stayed pure. I spent this amount of time uh, praying. So uh, please keep me in your prayers. Let's say a prayer together. Anything in that line, make sure that you get yourself an accountability partner with who you can actually confide these things with. And it is important to also get yourself some accountability partners who are going through the same things, who you can encourage and go through the process with them. But many times this can be dangerous. And you can say, oh, what do you mean this can be dangerous? So let me explain. For example, one person that you are holding accountable, they're holding you accountable, relapsed then you can use that as an excuse to also say, okay, well, this person fell short, so let me go watch porn so that we're on the same page again. And that is something that you definitely shouldn't do. So that's why it's so important to also have accountability partners who are not struggling with porn. And if you have an accountability partner who is also struggling with porn, remember that you want to keep yourself pure. So follow the other nine steps in uh, this video and through that, you will actually then maybe uh, have a higher street than the other person, be more days free from porn than the other person. And that will encourage the other person to stay porn free uh, so that they can also like, kind of catch up with you and get to the level where you are. So you can be a leader in that aspect saying, I am porn free the moment my street is one. And then from there, you're building on that freedom and encouraging others to do the same. Then the next thing that you should do is have private worship sessions. We see how Jesus withdrew himself from the crowd when he was at his lowest just before he was about to get crucified, when he was at his highest just after he preached to thousands and thousands of people. He withdrew himself from the crowd, from people in order to have private time with God. And that's what we should do. We should have private time with God and something that is really really important for us to do is continue to worship God because many times our prayers are salvage is very much just asking God what he can do for us and that's why worship is so important because it's just us connecting with God glorifying God for who he is so that's why worship is so important because prayer is something that's very selfish and the Bible said that we should pray but then also worship is something where we only focus on God and glorifying him the next thing is not something that is very religious and this is the second last thing so that is not like i said something that's very religious but something that could help you a lot and that is if you're struggling take cold showers trust me when you're struggling with lust it really helps so take cold showers that's all i have to say about that one so the last thing then is to delete social media if you're really struggling with lust something that can really fuel that lust and plant the seed of lust is social media. The Bible says if your right arm causes you to sin, cut it off. If your right eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. These are desperate measures. So that's why it's so important for us to also take desperate measures 
when we see that we're struggling with pornography we have applied everything else in this video but we're still struggling with pornography then you need to take this drastic step of removing everything that can cause you to stumble and just as a bonus uh, part to this video is like I said we should increase our time with God uh, by reading our Bible all those stuff so just also a bonus thing that I forgot to mention earlier and that is if you have something that is really encouraging like a Bible verse that really motivates you to stay pure I'll write those verses down on sticky notes and actually stick those Bible verses everywhere where you know you're usually most tempted or where you watch porn so that when you actually go to watch porn and you you know try to search something up then that verse will be staring right back at you that will be a reminder listen i stick that note here for a reason that verse is there for a reason so that will help you to stay connected to god and to stay pure as well so remember sometimes you need to take these drastic measures in order to become porn free and in this video i gave you 10 ways in which you can become uh, porn free and these are very practical things so again i just want to emphasize the fact that it's very important for you to actually apply what i've just said because you can have all this knowledge in your head but not do anything about it so that's why it's so important for you to take notes maybe about this and then make sure that you uh, apply each and every one of these steps so that is basically the end of this video so if you enjoyed it please leave a like please subscribe please turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload and also uh, our ministry is something that we really want to expand even further so if you want to donate to our ministry we are currently uh, providing meals to children in need and we're also providing bibles and resources to the persecuted church so if you want to help us by growing this ministry please uh, click the link in the description box you'll see that there is a link to support and donate to our ministry so if you want to do that that will be a massive blessing and like i said if you are learned anything from this video if you know this video have been has been a blessing to you please uh, leave a like subscribe turn on the notification bell and i really can't wait to see you in the next video god bless